Good afternoon. Kovion welcomes you all to the webinar on experience the modernization delivered in 22A HCM Cloud. My name is Madhusudan, associated with Kovion as HCM Cloud Consultant. I have completed my graduation from RNSIT Bangalore. Kovion is a business transformation and technology solution partner. We are headquartered in UK and spread across USA and India. The agenda of today's webinar is to discuss critical functionalities of 22A, mandatory prerequisites, decommissioned control features, known issues, and finally Q&A. The complete presentation is prepared by referring Oracle readiness document, so please refer the below link for more information. Pre-filled document record attributes by scanning an attachment. First, we look into pre-filled document record attributes. We can now fill the document of records by scanning the attachment attached document. Moving to the next functionality, that is added security for withdrawing resignation. The 22A update provides added security for withdrawing resignation by using a dedicated security artifact. Simulate workforce structure approval rules will be our next feature. Now users can approve rules, simulate to test approval rules and routing without creating any new transaction for this responsive workflow structures. Enhancement to approvals and notification. In this new feature, a user will no longer need to wait for the batch processor to complete the update status. Rather, with the help of refresh icon, he can either refresh the individual row or Click on the topmost refresh icon to refresh the whole rows. Configurable workers LOV available on employment page. In this, in this new feature of configurable workers LOV, we can avoid opting the wrong person as a direct reportee or manager in the responsive UIs. So we will be now moving on for a quick demo. First, we will be looking into pre-filled document of record attributes by scanning an attachment. So suppose if we want to fill a document of record, we can just take the document relating to the document type and extracting the data from the attachment. For example, over here, I have taken the driving license as a document type and I have attached the document of a driving license. So all the fields available in the driving license attachment can be extracted from the document. Example, the license number. We can select the number in the field type and we can extract it from the license number in the pre-filled attachment. So once we have highlighted it, if we click on OK, the number will be populated with the license number. This is about pre-filled document of record attributes by scanning an attachment. So we will be moving on to the next feature that is approval tools. Wherein, once the approval flow is configured, there is no need of creating a new transaction. Rather, if we can click on simulate button, all the workflow configured and about the details of the employee can be seen over here. Suppose, for example, Lawrence Smith in change location has proposed for a new location. The configuration and also the details will be available over here. The current location, the proposed location, the details of employee, and also the workflow, how it goes for approval rules will be seen over here. This is about the new feature. We'll be moving on to the next feature that is configurable workers LOV available on employment page. So in this section, suppose for example, for adding the direct reportees or manager, if there are two or more people having the same name, there will be a huge difficulty in selecting the required person. So in the new feature, they have added business title, worker email and person number. So we can easily di differentiate between the employees and select the required employee. So we'll be moving on for the next feature that is enhancement to approvals and notification flows. In this, for example, when there is a workflow configured, there will be transaction available in the transaction control. So for refreshing it, we, we no longer need to wait for the batch processor wherein we can usually we can click on refresh icon and refresh the whole transaction. If there is only one particular transaction, we can click on the refresh icon on the particular transaction or if the whole thing has to be refreshed, we can click on the above refresh icon. So we will be moving on for other 22A critical feature that is social sharing for external career site. We can now share engaging images from image URL. 
from this new feature. <clears throat> the, the, the next next feature is LinkedIn embedded search. We can now search for the appropriate candidate for appropriate job. By using LinkedIn, wherein it is embedded within the Oracle HCM cloud. There are some prerequisite to avail these features which has been explained. For some, it is directly available. For some, it is we have to raise an SR. There are decommissioned features as well in 22A. Document records and also allocate checklist usually had two fields which is now decommissioned. And if you try to fill that up and uh, try to give one complete, there will be an error popped up. Some of the known issues are salary populated from grade ladder is inconsistent in classic page. For this, the workaround is we have to use responsive UI pages. The next known issue is related info not updated when changing non worker type. Suppose we fill all the related uh, documents of non worker type and suppose if you try to change the non worker type in the particular RUI, the error will be popped up and we have to restart the whole thing. This is one of the known issue. The next known issue is assignment security not working on person costing responsive pages. When a particular employee tries to search for a responsive UI pages of an employee who has been newly hired, all the pages will be available instead of a single page. So this is one of the new issue. The other controlled feature is career development. Here the employee can be exposed to a wide range of career opportunities. For this feature to be available, we have to raise an SR. 